don't worry the camera didn't get broken it's fine i just decided to continue my workout without any distractions so i'm just going to do the dishes that i left last night shower and then we can officially start our day Hi people, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mutombo and I am a freelance artist. And I'm going to be taking you throughout my day and just showing you what the day in the life of a freelance artist looks like. Alright, so first things first, we are going to make a to-do list. I actually have a bunch of stuff to get done today and we're going to go through that right now. We're going to start by checking my email. The next thing that I need to do is to prepare a price sheet. I already have my price sheet ready. I basically just took the amount of time that it takes me on average to do certain pieces into consideration and came up with some sort of pricing. The pricing that I have here, this I developed in January. If you see up here, it says 13th of January. All the work that I have gotten since January to now have not fallen into any of these categories. So I really had a hard time setting my prices for work that doesn't fall under portraits. That is just me, you know, doing portraits like these I'm supposed to send a client a draft for their logo today. I'm going to start working on that very soon. I'm just still trying to organize myself now. When I send the draft, they're definitely going to get back to me and tell me what to change, anything to adjust, we're going to discuss, you know, colors and all of that. But for now, I'll just send a draft in black and white. All right, so a big part of any form of freelance work, obviously, is having an online presence. And for Mutombo Visuals, I've chosen Instagram. I follow lots of other artists. It's mainly art, 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 art. In the spirit of social media, today I want to post a client appreciation post. Normally, I don't post clients' work on my Instagram page just because... You know, it's theirs. Let them do with it what they want to do with it, you know. But for the few that I do post or want to post, I reach out to them and ask them if it's okay, if they are okay with me, you know, posting the work that I did for them on my Instagram page. So I'm just texting one of my clients from last year and I hope she's fine with it. So this message is for her. Hi, you know yourself. Thanks for saying yes. I'm going to connect my phone and then just transfer the image to my phone. Alright, okay, so that's that. We haven't even started today's work and I'm already hungry. So let's open Instagram now because the client I'm supposed to work for today sent me her briefing on Instagram. She sent all the details to my Instagram DM. I don't want to be going back and forth between the messages. So I'm just going to copy, you know, write down all the points that she detailed out for me in my notebook here. Okay, so I just checked my Mutombo Visuals business email and um, the only email that I had there was a picture that I actually sent to myself. So, yeah, business is booming. <laughs> oh my gosh. Time for breakfast. if you've noticed my lame attempt at trying to be healthy this morning i went and worked out for about 15 to 20 minutes now i'm having some yogurt apples and some granola cape town is getting very cold so i'm going to wear my sweatshirt Post. 
Uh, speaking of posting on Instagram, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and uh, keep watching. While I sketch, I'm going to tell you a bit about my sketching process. When I need inspiration, I go to Instagram or to Pinterest and I get amazing reference pictures from there. I use these references as a guide on body postures and just general inspiration. And you are going to see by the time I finish this illustration that I am actually not trying to copy the reference. I'm just getting the general idea and putting my own spin on it. And that is actually how you learn to draw. If you're trying to learn how to draw a particular posture, you can't just make that up in your head you need some sort of reference to show you how the human body is actually shaped in that posture that you are thinking of one thing that i like to do when i'm drawing is to put on other artists or music on youtube and just draw alongside them or just listen to my music i have my cameronian playlist my afrobeats playlist that i listen to while i draw and it just gets me in the zone all right i'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy the rest of the video So this is what I've sketched so far. So I'm just going to adjust the face and then I'm going to take a picture of it, transfer it to my laptop and then we are going to begin the second phase of, you know, my art creating process. I realized I don't like my current logo. So I'm going to put a picture on the screen of what my current Mutombo Visuals logo looks like. I really don't like it. So I decided to, you know, redo it. This is just a rough idea of what I want to do. I want... I'm getting hungry. Maybe we should eat first. What do I have to eat? Yeah, I think I'm just going to do noodles. And I have some fried chicken here in this container. Well, okay, it's a brownies container. But are you African if you don't repurpose your containers? so these are your regular instant noodles and i just heated up some fried chicken that i had in the fridge board in the house board in the house board in the house I love digital ads because of all the possibilities that it gives you. You don't have to have an array of different colored paints to achieve the look that you're trying to go for or the color that you're trying to go for. It's simply there, digital. You just simply pick it in the application. The tablet that I'm using is the Wacom Intuo small tablet and I'm going to talk more about this tablet in another video completely but this is what I use for my input. This is what I use to draw and do all my digital arts. Because this tablet doesn't have a screen, I like to start most of my digital portraits by sketching with a pencil and a paper and then scanning it or taking a picture of it and then coloring it digitally. It's just easier to get the outlines when I do that. 